Hi Scorpio, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for March 2020 and I hope you will enjoy it but do remember this is a general reading, take it, take from it what you can and if not uh, have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign. This is also a grown up video. Um, specifically also uh, for entertainment reasons but I hope it gives you food for thought and support. Okay, let's get started. Uh, so no, before I get started, sorry, please subscribe and hit the bell if you're new and you're welcome to this channel and also my cyber angels, welcome and thank you for coming back. I'm really grateful for that. Without you, this channel wouldn't be what it is. It is fantastic because we've got an immense big cyber family and I go live every day. If you wish to join us in the live to get a free card or ask a question, then please donate with a super chat or a super sticker. And of course, I will answer your question with three cards and an oracle card. If you would like an extended reading, then go to the website. There's a little round circle with an eye in that a white circle with I, click on that and it will take you to my website which is new and up and running. I will be uh, updating that regularly and of course there's revisions because I do also revisions for publishers and for the YouTube channel. Um, there's also news, you will also be uh, seeing uh, a heading life coach. I hope to get that up and running within the near future. And um, let's get started with the reading and welcome uh, back everybody. And here we go. You can also find more information below this video in the description box. Your first card is worth waiting for. The divine time is at work in your love life. Okay, Scorpio, don't be wondering why you might not have anybody if you're not coupled up. Uh, the angels and the universe is at work or if you have some issues in your relationship. You might need some guidance though because we've got the lily here and it's depicted as a lotus flower. Sorry for the glistening but the daylight is going and I want to get Scorpio and Sagittarius done so that you will not feel left out. You've got luck on your side. This is definitely usually in business or at work. Um, perhaps um, you might have to work at your relationship and there might be issues or situations or questions with regard to your uh, relationship. So you might need legal advice or um, support advice, advice. So this could be a marriage guidance counsellor or a life coach or um, a counsellor that counsels relationships. It could also be a social worker in some cases. If um, somebody is bored or if somebody is working too much, then because this is the work card, then perhaps there might be issues in the relationship that have to be discussed. In the second week, you have attraction, you are attractive, and it says attraction. You might attract an other love or a new love. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. And it could be um, uh, um, the partner that you're with now um, that you are attract uh, that you attract love for them. Uh, as there might be a reunion. I did not sort out the cards. They came out the way they did. I do that because out of principle, I believe that you should for every reading uh, take time out. I always upload a video, edit it, and in that time I shake the cards, meditate over the cards, and the angels and the universe or the divine give me what I need. You've got the garden, so go out into fresh air. You might be going to celebrations, parties, gatherings, and you might meet somebody there from the past, or might even meet the one, um, the person that you are going out with, or that you um, 
that you consider your partner, but it is at a um, at a pause moment. Sometimes we always, we take pauses from our relationships in order to um, we call that retreat and regroup, so that we have a fresh perspective. We all need time alone. Then in the third week, we've got express your love, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This could indeed, um, because it's also lying in that way, uh, could attract a person towards you by giving a gesture of love. Let them know that you haven't forgotten, especially if you've had an argument, okay? Express your love if you've had an argument, because you've got the whip, and the whip means disagreements, arguments. So get cracking with that whip and make that gesture. That is what I would suggest. Okay, love yourself first. You can't have to love yourself first. Show your partner that you love yourself first and that you can take care of yourself because that makes you more sexually attractive. And the card says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, and then we've got the lady. A lady, a lady might be coming into your life. This could be a new love or this could be the existing love of your life that you are taking a pause from or they are taking a pause of of the whole situation after the argument. You could also be meeting a man with a nurturing sight um, because the cards don't have sexes, okay? But it could, it, it is somebody with a nurturing sight. Also, a person that is sensual and beautiful, caring, loving and passionate. But it is important to make yourself attractive to the other. Look at this. Attraction. The word attraction jumps out in this uh, reading. The angels and the divine are at work. Okay, so don't give up hope if you have a pause moment in your relationship. Ask people for help. Helpful people, friends, family, ask them for help and to help you to nurture yourself, take care. Ask them, what do you think? How, am I looking great? Just be, show interest in yourself. And then people say, oh, what? what? Why are you thinking about that? You never used to. Okay, don't, you know, if you have a pause moment in a relationship, then don't let yourself go. That's the message here. Just jump out, be the beacon, be the strong one but be there ready to get going again and saying sorry that's why it is good to express your love after an argument you've got a green card from archangel michael and green means healing space uh, also family and uh, family is important the family tree like in the lenamon and also money and it is the uh, the, uh, the card forgiveness to err is human to forgive is divine wow this is so beautiful Archangel Michael understands your past and present emotional pain forgive yourself and others will and others will bring you freedom and serenity the sword and shield are symbolically presented to you by Archangel Michael as a powerful tool. For stress relief, forgiveness means giving up your hurtful feelings and completely letting go. When you think you are your memories, you become a victim of your memories. I'll read that again. When you think you are your memories, you become a victim of your memories. So if you think you're sad and depressed and lonely and not lovable, then you become that through by, by being your memories. The moment you accept the memory as a part of the past, purely 
a learning experience and manage to forgive yourself for having had the experience and even forgive the person who you felt inflicted the experience upon you. The person that inflicted that experience upon you, then you can move on remembering who you truly are. This is not the same as con condoning the behavior, so you don't have to agree with their behavior, but you're forgiving them and understanding it. Old anger, fear and resentment are dead weights that slow you down and drain your vital energy. Archangel Michael will assist you with the progress of forgiveness by supporting you and clearing emotions associated on request. The first step in being willing to forgive Forgiveness is a means to freeing your spirit and embracing the unlimited potential. Great wisdom will come from facing your suffering. To err is human, to forgive is divine. And my mum used to say, to be angry is human, but to stay angry is devilish. So, I can really resonate with this saying. Your alternative meanings. You were not to blame, all was not as it seemed. Inherent pattern, healing, legal issue or illegal issue settled. A wrong righted, relationship healed. Hearing from someone after a lengthy silence. Karmic debt cleared. Wow, that's a strong message. Then we have the golden angel feather. Now you can wear gold to help you detox. You can um, meditate on the gold, color gold. You can, um, well you can't eat gold. Okay, you can only wear this and meditate and you can wear the, the crystals that I will be giving you. So something has come full circle. The angels acknowledge and applaud the wonderful effort you've put in. You are transforming from an ordinary human into a spiritual being. The gold angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of transformation. A cycle has been completed and full of learning and growth. The angels are aware of the high values you have maintained throughout. The spiritual maturity and wisdom are the blessings for enduring this phase of your life. The angels now usher in golden energy that will renew your spirit in readiness for brighter and easier days. Now relax, enjoy life. Other symbols for the golden angel feather, glory, understanding, blessing of a home, solar magic, attraction, again the word attraction, health, spiritual inspiration, wealth and abundance, spiritual truth, spiritual communication, financial wisdom, compassion, knowledge, leadership, confidence and self-confidence, stability, truth and purity, self-worth, Human, humanitarianism Ooh, that's a big word humanitarianism and the crystals that you can wear is amber, gold, golden beryl, calcite, topaz, helidor, goldstone, sulfur, citron, golden tiger's eye, rutilated quartz it's Archangel Jovial, the Angel of Enlightenment, and Archangel Sandalphon, Angel of Power, Seraphim, Angel Daniel, Golden Angel of Good Fortune, Angel Renlil, Angel of Awakening. Wow, how stuff. 
to call upon those angels. And Archangel Jovial is also the angel for the solar plex. So open your heart and forgive and open your solar plex. And it will come to you quicker. And the angel of inner peace is with you. Sorry for the glistening. So know that you're not alone and that you are protected. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, my sweet Scorpios, and, and I hope you can use some information. So relax, ask help from other people, forgive and your others and forgive yourself. You've come a long way and you've learned a lot and you can use this knowledge and pass it on to others. You are going to have a new beginning because something has come full circle. Do that gesture, okay? Don't argue, say sorry, and everything will be all right. The angels are at work and so is the divine. I hope it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Okay, my darlings, take care and remember, together we stand strong, so give us the thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the live sessions and have a beautiful and healing, loving March. Ciao, ciao.